I was so incredibly close, I think, to becoming a terrible monster. In my late teens, 19, 20 years old, I was in full repression about my sexuality, shoving it down, total denial, full-on repression. In a small town, very religious, my whole world was the church. And I was determined to find a girl to marry and have children and become a pastor in my community. And I was already learning to manipulate those around me through the Bible and guilt and, you know, and sort of making people bend to my will in that way that men often do in church. I was learning all those things. I was almost there. And then uh, everyone started getting married. Like in the early 20s, there was like a million marriages. And I had this really bad habit of like falling in secret love with men in my church. I did it over and over again. And suddenly everyone was getting married. And it sort of snapped me out of it. And I was just in complete heartbreak. Secretly. And I sort of instinctively fled that place. I went away to college because I was just so incredibly heartbroken. Thank God I did, because I ran away and slowly started to wake up from that really bad dream. But I very easily could have stayed in that place and become that guy. I had to deal with all my things very quickly, full on dealt with all of it in one big chunk. And most people don't do that, but most people carry around little pieces of repression for different things around themselves, their sexuality, you were never man enough for dad, or your mom doesn't like the way you behave, and as a kid, you learn to, like, not show your true self. And today, I think it is really showing itself in people who are so incredibly triggered by people trying to be their, their authentic selves. It looks like a threat, because they didn't get to do that. When we talk about June being Gay Pride Month, a lot of people are like, oh, why are you proud of being gay or proud of being trans or LGBT? Uh, That sort of misses it. Uh, The pride is in being yourself in a world that doesn't want you to be yourself. That's brave. And that's the month of pride for uh, facing all the things and being yourself anyway. The opposite of shame, I think, is pride. I'm so proud of you.